thirsty. Hey guys, it's Tiny Beautiful here and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I'm going to be doing a, another story time video. So today's story time video is going to be about the time I got into an accident on a dirt bike. Where do I begin? One year, my aunt was getting married and my dad flew us all to Jamaica. Me, my sister, my brothers. His wife came later on because she had work. So we all went, it was nice. A nice vacation in Jamaica. It was beautiful, gorgeous, of course. So we're all in Jamaica having a great time. My father's taking us all kinds of places because at this time it was, was you know, my first time being there. So he decided that he was gonna take us like literally everywhere when we were in Jamaica together. That time I was in junior high school, went um, on a lot of different activities, you know, going to river, going to beach, just going all over the place. The Bob Marley Museum, which I loved. It was amazing experiencing that. So we, we, we were getting into a lot of activities, okay? So one of the activities included a dirt bike, okay? Now there's a area in Jamaica where mostly tourists come and I guess, you know, ride the dirt bike into the hill. You guys know, you know, Jamaica has hills and things like that. And this particular space, you can rent a dirt bike, go up in the hills, ride around with an instructor, but on your own individual bikes. So my stepmother, she was, um, in Jamaica I'm at this point and she's like Tanya let's go on the dirt bikes so, so I'm like okay sure like I'm going on the dirt bikes with my stepmom why not like it seemed like it was gonna be really really fun so the instructor goes up um, two of my cousins come my stepmom and my little brother. At the time, he was really little, like he was really small. Now you're a big man with girlfriend and all of that. Anyways, so we all go up there. Um, we get on our dirt bikes. I'm on one bike with my boy cousin, Kwa. And then um, I think my other cousin, Pep, was on a bike with my brother. And then um, my stepmom, she was on a bike by herself and the instructor was in the front on his bike I think so was she by herself I believe so we were all on dirt bikes so we're riding out and we're going through the hills and everything looks pretty and everything looks amazing and literally like I don't know what happened but I felt a smack literally just like that like on 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 my on my calf on the side of my calf so i'm just like breeze blowing i'm not feeling nothing and i i feel this smack on my on my calf and i look down and when i look down there's literally a freaking stick okay a big ass stick literally about this thick hanging out of my calf okay like literally jammed in there and you know I'm thick you know I'm thick I'm a little thickums so <laughs> my calves you know stick so you know if anything gonna stick it's gonna it's gonna stay you know what I mean so I look down and I'm like Qua, stop <laughs> stop 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 and I'm like shaking him and I'm shaking when he looks down at my uh, at my calf he goes and then he pulls over before he actually gets a chance to stop the bike he reaches down and he pulls it out of my leg and it, it flies somewhere and he stops everybody is looking like why are they stopping why are they stopping my stepmom comes my little brother come everybody is looking at me like I'm dying and I felt like I was dying I know it's dramatic my leg had a big ass puncture hole like what? I'm there freaking the frig out. I'm crying. I'm screaming. They're like, calm down, calm down. My stepmom takes off her vest off of her back and ties it around my leg. Or did my cousin tie it around my leg? I don't know, but she gave her shirt up so that they could wrap it around my leg. The instructor was like, okay, we gotta go back down. Before they went back down, they were trying to find the stick because they were like, what if it has poison in it? And at that point, I'm like, what? 
I'm literally about to lose my freaking mind. Like, poison. <laughs> it's already bad enough that I got a hole in my freaking leg. But y'all telling me about the stick might have poison and y'all gotta find it. So we ride the dirt backs right back down to my father. Where my father was, he was actually fishing because there's like an area where you could fish. Literally, it's just a big space that has many activities. I remember seeing horses. I think you could have went horseback riding, fishing dirt bike riding all of that stuff so it was just an amazing place but at that point i hated it and i wanted to go like i was just like i'm i'm bleeding i'm bleeding blood is draining take off the helmet i drop it to the ground and i start bawling okay because at this point like i'm i'm like oh no like my vacation is over i got a big ass hole in my leg i'm bleeding and it's like the flesh is just hanging and it looks so crazy and i'm just like oh hell no when we actually get to my father my father's like what happened we show him my leg and he's just he just looked like we are go on the dirt bike for we are gonna suffer you understand what i'm saying because now he got to take me to the hospital we get in the car and I'm literally, my leg is across my cousin them lap. It's my father, he's looking at my leg and he's saying to himself, I wonder, cause there's this, it's a leaf in Jamaica. I don't know, I can't remember the name off of the top of my head, but in Jamaica there's this leaf that you can put on a womb and it can actually suck it up and, and like close it. Um, I mean, every island has some type of natural remedy well in jamaica is supposed to be a leaf that you could put on a womb and it can actually close it up so my father was saying maybe we could do that when he takes off this shirt off of my leg he's like no she gotta go to the hospital i'm like hospital in my mind i'm losing it my heart is beating a thousand miles a minute i'm like yo they're gonna take me to the hospital these people these doctors are gonna poke me the hell up and i'm just scared at this point i think we had to drop everybody home and me and my father my stepmom and i think my one of my cousins went or both of them went i don't remember but um i think a cousin of mine was there and we get to the hospital and if things couldn't get any worse, you guys, I go to the doctor and the doctor, my father has to pay cash. Of course, you know, in the islands, the hospital is very expensive and you have to pay cash. So my father had money on him. He had to pay um, for me to get seen and the doctor sees me and yeah, this ninja took a needle to numb me he sticks it in my womb how in the f how how the hole is like this big okay and he takes the needle and he stabs inside not even around it you know like he could have stuck it on the side you know to kind of numb that area but the man shoves it in I'm grabbing and squeezing my stepmom because she came into the room with me my father probably didn't want to see me getting stitches i don't know but he didn't come in the room my stepmom did and i was squeezing her and i'm laying in her breast like crying and it hurts it's painful i have to get stitches it's, it's closed now of course um and it's shaped like a l so basically here's the, the the l he puts one stitch here one here and one here so he literally just jams it through ties it right here jams it through ties it right here Jams it through, ties it right here. I'm crying. The numbing medicine did not work. So I don't even know what was the point of that because I could feel everything. I could feel him digging the needle through my skin. I could feel every single thing. And once it was all over, I hated how it looked because I felt like he didn't do a good job. I felt like he didn't take his time. And I felt like because I was a kid at the time and because I was crying and I was moving a lot, I feel like that's why he didn't necessarily feel like he had to take his time. But he didn't take his time, y'all. See, I was in so much pain. First of all, I get a stick jammed in my foot. Okay? Then they're like, it might be poisonous. Then they're like, we gotta go to the hospital. You stick a needle in my wound and then on top of that, give me stitches that have my, my scar looking like crap. You see that? 
it was a big hole so just imagine that open so anyway he gives me my stitches and I go home literally my vacation was kind of like over for like a week I missed out on some things I missed out on going to the beach um, I missed out on going certain places during that week because I basically had to be in the house with my foot cock up on the chair just to rest to make sure that um, you know my foot heals and you know it doesn't get infected or anything like that I was fine my leg turned out fine the only thing is I'm left with an ugly scar um, my father didn't take me back to the doctor to get it removed he actually removed them himself and I think they told him about a week or so it'll be able to it'll close up or two weeks I don't really remember but it was a good little while that I was chilling in the house watching TV like I remember those days like it was yesterday like seeing everybody getting to go out and I can't really go because you know I got a situation with my foot I, I'm left with an ugly scar and I'm I'm disappointed about that but there's nothing I can do about that but yeah guys that's it for this story time video I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video and if you guys want any more story time videos or if you have any suggestions you guys can let me know in the comment section below but that's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye